Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to uh, what I think is gonna be maybe a day in the life video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. This is my husband, Jody. What the hell is that? So we are on our way right now. We're gonna stop at the store and pick up a few things. Today's Halloween and we're gonna stop pick up a few things for our grandson. We're gonna head over to our grandson and see him for Halloween. The dollar store was two packs, so we went to Publix and got him this with a little cup and some candies. And we're gonna give the rest of the candy to our son. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Nana and Papa got for you. Come here. Look. That's What's fun. that? What's that? Wow! Guys! <laughs> he, he took his candy and said bye! Yeah, you want Kit Kat? You like Kit Kats? No, you like Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. Stay out of his Kit Kats, Justin. What do you got? What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so on our way home, I made the mistake. I know better than to not eat breakfast before we go someplace. So on our way home, I decided I was going to have one Kit Kat. And I scanned them, and for three of them, it's 11 points. So I figured, oh, I'll just have the three of them then. So that was pretty much my breakfast. Three of those, 11 points. So basically half my points gone. So now just so I can get some protein in me, I'm having a two point Dannon Light and Fit Greek Strawberry Cheesecake Yogurt. These are so good. So that's two points. The good thing is I had some chili. This is already cooked from the last time I made chili. So I pulled this out of my fridge, out of my freezer. So this is what I'm gonna have for dinner that way. I can have something that is low point for dinner to make up. So just goes to show sometimes you can have a few candies and still make it work. I just probably, probably wasn't a, the greatest way to start my day though. So I'm going to have the chili tonight for dinner. So we're going to head out now to the Dollar Tree. All right, so we just got back from the Dollar Tree. So I got some coffee cups because I just love coffee cups with sayings on them. Just nod and smile. I told my husband that one would probably be his. <laughs> uh, good morning, beautiful. And coffee is a hug and a mug. And then I got these little magnets. I like to keep a grocery, like a grocery list on my fridge. And my other one I had ran out. So this one says, you've totally got this. Which, you know, I always say that. And then this one I thought was cute because it has a little calendar that you can like rip off the months. So I thought that was really cute. I got a big popcorn thing for us because we usually, when we have popcorn at night, we make a big one and we both split it. So I got that. I got a three subject notebook that I just needed. I got a couple more of my trays. I have these size that came in three. And then one of the big ones. I like to use these in my pantry. And then I went ahead and got some more of these. Y'all see me use these in my meal prep videos. These are the ones that I talk about that I get from the Dollar Tree. You get 10 of them in there for $1. Got another beach ball for the pool. 
we like to just kind of, my husband and I get in the pool and kind of bat the, kind of play volleyball with a beach ball. Oh, and wait a minute, there's two more things. I got some wax paper and some gallon bags. And then I got some placemats that I just stuck this one on my stove. I got that one. I got this one. And I got this one that I put on my fridge. And I think that was it. Oh, and we got some hot dog buns because uh, my husband wants to have hot dogs with his chili tonight. He wants to do chili dogs with his. So we picked up some hot dog buns. So, and this was all uh, $20, I think. Oh, and I got a little thing for my dining room table. A centerpiece. I had that centerpiece on there, but I'll put that one back up, back on it at Christmas. So I just got this little cheap thing. So that was my little Dollar Tree haul. Let's get some sun, baby. It's time to go. See what we got going on in here. Oh my goodness. It is a mess. I mean, seriously, look at this. I promise these black spots are not bugs. <laughs> it's, it, this is a really old house, so it, it needs to be repainted in there. I mean, I got papers down in here. Why is that? because they fall out of the junk drawer. Or maybe it's this junk drawer. Or maybe it's this junk drawer. So, there, next project. All right, so. Much better. Got my OXO salad spinner there, my red bowls, which I always use, my little colanders I always use. Cake pan doesn't get used too much, and then my glass casserole dishes and then back there is just kind of some odds and ends stuff and then the junk drawers so now I still have junk drawers but not as bad so this one I just have some odds and ends things oven liners the things more of the stickers for my spices outlet covers and then this drawer I'm going to use for my grandson's stuff in here. We've got his sidewalk chalk somewhere, so I'll put that in there. And then this one is still going to be kind of the, really the junk drawer. I just have like all the odds and ends things. So mostly a bunch of candles, some playing cards. So I'm going to keep this one as kind of like the main junk drawer. So another project done. I want to show everybody my silverware drawer. So... These little containers that I get from the Dollar Tree, and you don't have to, you have to mind my nails because they're all busting off while I'm doing all these projects. So this is my silverware drawer. This is what I use those for. These are the little containers that I get from the Dollar Tree. And these are, they have this size tray too. So I have a little tray back there that has my grandson's old spoons, which I don't want to throw away because eventually we'll have another grandchild. And then I have this one here, which this one I didn't get from the Dollar Tree. This one and this one I think are probably Walmart trays. So I just have those in there and way too many silverware. And then I just have my little spare containers that I use for meal prep. And then my measuring spoons. 
so that's how my silverware drawer is. So this stays pretty well neat. This gets a little bit overflowing with things sometimes. Now, this one. Oh, lordy, lordy. Somebody help me. This is all odds and ends. This isn't a junk drawer. This is a utensil type <laughs> drawer. I just have a whole bunch of odds and ends stuff in here that I just have thrown in here. So I need to take probably this tray and try and do something with that drawer. So let's see what I can do. All right, it still doesn't look neat, but at least I've got some trays in here that I'm separating everything. Oh, all my nails are breaking off. This is just a bunch of spoons and extra things that I have. I keep most of them over there. The ones that I use all the time, but then of course I have a million others that I really probably don't need and I need to probably go through and throw some away. And then these are just kind of odds and ends, my little roller for my two ingredient dough. So just odds and ends stuff. And then my good knives, I'll put, I'll keep here. And then I have some other big knives that I just have back here away so that we don't cut ourselves. And then way in the back I have our corn on the cob trays, which I have entirely too many of those. So, but at least everything's separated now. So there's another project done. Chili's almost done. It was actually already cooked, so I just had to, I've had it just sitting here simmering on low. This is so good. I'll put the recipe for this down in the description box below too. And then my husband wanted a couple hot dogs, so he wasn't gonna fire up the grill outside for that, so I'm just using my cast iron grill pan. So that's gonna be dinner. Mine is gonna be very low point. I'm not having anything else with it, just the chili. This chili is two points on blue and purple and four points on green. All right, I'm having a cup of coffee. So dinner is done. That chili was so good. It was actually a lot more spicy than it usually is. I'm down to one nail, like literally one nail. <laughs> Day in the life. So now I'm going to sit down and I thought about going to my office and doing some work, but I decided I'm going to sit at my dining room table and respond to some comments. I wanted to show you when we went to Daytona Beach, that bed was so comfortable and I thought I put a clip in the vlog, the Daytona Beach vlog, but I guess I took it out. I, I think I was trying not to make it so long, but the bed, she had a topper on the bed. So I texted her and asked her what it was, but I looked at it. Let me see if I can show you. So my husband found one on Amazon that's pretty similar. It looked like the one she had on the bed was a four inch and this one that we got is a three inch. So he just purchased this cover for it at Walmart, but this is what it looks like. It's just this topper that goes on and it's like memory foam. Oh my gosh, this is so comfortable. This is a king. We have a king bed and I'm pretty sure he said he paid like $100 for it. I am not being paid for this. <laughs> I am not sponsored. I don't even know at this point what this what the brand is or anything. I don't know anything about it. I just wanted to film this and show you. But I'm going to link it down in the description box below where we got it from Amazon. Oh, it's so comfortable. You just kind of like sink down into it. And I think he said there's like a 30 day money back guarantee or something. So I'll put that down in the description box down below. It's a good day to go out on the boat. The sun is about to go down. Whenever I to find a sunset a flavor of a memory whenever all the stars above are shining then I know I'll never be alone wherever all my wishes may be heading a part of us will never
actually Sunday now, and guess what's getting ready to happen in here? That's right, it's meal prep Sunday. So I never closed out the vlog yesterday. Uh, last night my brother ended up coming over and we haven't seen him in a really long time. So we ended up just eat, sitting at the table and chatting and eating popcorn and that was the extent of our night. So I don't know, I didn't really do anything exciting but hopefully you liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.